these that having the world's reserve currency has given us a privilege that uh, politicians just don't seem to understand. Uh, Tucker Carlson has jumped on board with uh, uh, you know sounding the alarm, but it is too late. At goldsilver.com, we have a price match guarantee, free shipping, and global storage options. Thanks for making goldsilver.com your bullion dealer. I want to welcome Tucker Carlson to the uh, watch on the death of the global dollar standard. I've been uh, since 2009 giving presentations on the death of the global dollar, dollar standard. When I was writing my first book back in, I think it was around 2005 that, you know, I studied, I had a, a book on manias, panics, and crashes. And then uh, I identified every single uh, mania, panic, crash, or any other big financial event in history that I could find. And I put them all in a spreadsheet looking for some sort of uh, cycle. And what leapt out at me was that every 30 to 40 years, the world had a new monetary system. Back then, nobody had written about that. You could look up, you, know, you could read about each one of the monetary systems separately, but you couldn't um, uh, read about this continuous flow of creating a monetary. And the further we got from money, gold and silver, the more unstable the monetary systems have become. And now we've got one that creates these bubbles and everything, except the global dollar standard and the petrodollar, uh, these that having the world's reserve currency has given us a privilege that uh, politicians just don't seem to understand. Uh, Tucker Carlson has jumped on board with, uh, uh, you know, sounding the alarm, but it is too late. There's nothing that can be done about it now. Uh, in, in this video, and you should watch it, it's a very good video, but the reason he's on board now is because this time it was a Democrat that did it. This final na nail, it isn't the, the final nail, but this is the nail that pushed it past the point of no return and accelerated the uh, world's turning away from the U.S. dollar. Uh, so it's a bit late because this started with... Uh, George Bush Jr. I don't like to call him George W. Bush. That uh, uh, gives him too much respect, in my opinion. <laughs> they're, they're, I don't respect any of these politicians. But, you know, he was a guy that couldn't string a two-word sentence together without putting his foot in his mouth. Uh, not the brightest president that we've ever had. But, uh, you know, uh, we've weaponized the dollar since then. We weaponized it against Saddam Hussein, we weaponized it against Muammar Gaddafi, and those were some of the first, what I call, nails in the coffin of the global dollar standard, which means the reserve currency. So now we're destined for this great reset, everybody calls it. Uh, but uh, joining the party after it's too late, yes, it, it was uh, really uh, an action that we should not have taken, uh, freezing Russia out of the SWIFT system, seizing uh, all of the Russian assets that are in banks and stuff, because uh, the reserve currency is supposed to be something that is autonomous from uh, political control. It's supposed to be something that everybody on earth can trust. This is a very important video. Uh, you should watch it. But uh, these decisions that Biden took, uh, trying to punish Russia, you know, with and use the dollar as a weapon has got... Um, Macron and, uh, and President Xi Jinping, um, everybody is talking about leaving the U.S. dollar. And uh, this is an article on U.S. hegemony and its perils uh, on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on the, of the People's Republic of China. So this is on their website in English. Um, this is a really interesting graph. Uh, it's the U.S.-China trade war. And this goes back to 1980. And you can see that the U.S. dominated the world. The biggest trading partner with almost every country was the U.S. And then around 2000, everything starts to change. We are really losing 
this dominance. And the privilege that it confers to us is something that most people can't see. Uh, if half of your dollars reside outside the United States and you double the currency supply, uh, devaluing the dollar by 50%, it devalues the ones in the United States, but also the ones outside of the United States, and that is a stealth tax. It, it, uh, it allows us to print, uh, to have very low interest rates, and, uh, and uh, to be able to transfer wealth from the rest of the world to us. And we've been able to do this since we established the Bretton Woods system in 1944. And so uh, <laughs> this is the new world order. And here's the West in the sandbox. And Putin and Xi Jinping say, out. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, but this is by no means the whole story. If you want the full story, including my free online-only chapters and companion videos, there's a wealth of information at ggsr21.com. Thanks.